Okay, what is up mga buwig? So, example number 3 na tayo sa pagkuhan ng shared moment diagram using the area method involving uh, situations na mayroong rectangular load. Let's go! Alright, so ito po yung ating susolve na problem mga bis, no? So, yan. Medyo komplikado ng konti pero kaya natin yan. So, simulan natin. So, unang hakbang. Wow, tagalog at tagalog. Unang hakbang, no? ay hanapin natin ang mga react, ang mga, yung Tagalog ng reactions, ang mga, basta reactions, yun, hahanapin natin yung reactions dito sa A at B. Kasi yan, noon, di ba? So, ayan, paano natin hanapin yung reactions? Convert muna natin tong uh, UDL natin into a point load. So, that's 25, which is acting in this whole length. Ang whole length natin is 72 plus uh, 48 is equal to uh, 120. So, 120 inches yung buong yan times uh, 25, it will have a value of 3,000. Okay? So, 3,000. So, saan siya mag-a-act sa sentro? Yan. Sabihin natin na andyan yan. 3,000 pounds, mga bis. Okay? So, saan yan mismo sa sentro? So, since sentro yan, 120 divided by 260. So, from here, papuntang dito, yan, yung buong ito is 60. Okay? 60 inches. Ibig sabihin, yung natitirang to ay uh, 60, 72 minus 60 is 12. Tama, di ba? Yes. Yay! Tama. Okay. So, para solve, isolve natin yung, so let's name this pala, no? That's uh, RA. And let's name that RB. So, solve muna natin yung, anong gusto nyo anahin natin? Anahin natin yung A. I think better yung A muna. Summation of moments with respect to B. Okay, so B muna yung reference point natin is equal to 0. Yung sign convention natin is going clockwise is positive. Okay, so B yung reference point natin. Huwag kakalimutan na. Okay, so unahin natin tong load na 300. That's 300 pounds. Ano yung perpendicular distance niya? Papuntang RB. That's equal to uh, 12. 12 inches. Diba? 12. B kasi yung reference point natin eh. Then, it will go, eh, ano yung direction niya? Kung ito yung reference point natin, ipupush na yan, ibig sabihin, it will go counterclockwise. So, negative. Kasi ito yung sign convention natin. Now, punta na tayo sa RA. Ang RA natin, it will push it pag ano, tak, tak, tak. So, it will go clockwise. Tama ba? ba? Clockwise. Yes. We are right. So, that would be RA, so positive yon, Positive. Times, and yung perpendicular distance niya pamunta sa B? That's 72 inches. Okay? So, equal to 0. Okay? So, from that, pwede natin masolve yung RA, which is a value of, transpose lang natin yon, 300 times 12 divided by 72. 300 times 12 divided by 72. We have a value of 50. Okay? So, joke. Grabe naman, 50 ba? 3. 3,000 pala to, sorry. <laughs> Nagtataka ako, bakit 50 lang yun eh. Okay, so, ulitin ko lang ha, 25 times 120 is 3,000. So, 3,000 pounds yon Yan, 3,000 yon sorry. Sorry po, 3,000 yon 3,000. Okay, so, 3,000 times 12. Divided by 72 is 500. Yun. So, 500 newtons po yung RA natin. So, tagyan natin yan. 500 pounds pala, hindi newtons. So, kung ano nung sinasabi ng bibig ko na to ah. Mali-mali naman. <laughs> Sorry. Ayan. So, continue natin. So, ayan, pwede tayong mag-summation of moments ulit. At with respect to A, pero I think mas matagal yun. So, once na sure ka na dito, mag-summation of forces ka na along the y direction. ba? Which is yung pataas. Let's name that positive kapag pataas. So, ano yung mga forces sa pataas? We have RA plus RB is equal to 3,000 pounds. ba? Kasi ito lang yung mga forces sa vertical direction natin. Yung 1, 2, 3. Eh, alam na natin yung value ng RA which is 500. Plus RB is equal to 3,000. Bale, mga bis, ito, i-convert natin yan, ilalagay natin ito sa kabilang side ng equation. RB, that's equal to 
3,000 minus 500 dash RB is equal to 2,500 pounds. Dito pala mga B, sinort cut ko na to, ba? Ano ba yung mga forces sa wide direction pala? Kapag pataas, dalawang RA, ba? RA tsaka RB. Tapos yung, yung 3,000 kasi pababa. Minus 300, 3,000 equal to 0. Ayan po yun. Ito, tapos ito. Tapos next, transpose ko lang sa kapila kaya naging positive. And so on and so forth. Nakuha natin yung RB which is 2,500. So let's write it down there. 2,500 pounds. Okay. So, ayan. Medyo matagal yung pagkuha natin ng reactions. Pero, erase na natin yan. Di na natin kailangan. Yan. Okay. Since na-solve na natin yan, i-erase ko rin na muna to. Pang, pang, pa, pang, pang, pang. Alam nyo, may special talent. Ako kaya kung gumawa ng sound ng, ng motorsiklo. Gawin natin sound effect. Brrrm. Hindi, at kala <laughs> Kalimutan ko bala Sorry. Hindi, <laughs> pero kaya ko yun eh. Mamaya, pag alalahanin ko lang. <laughs> okay na tayo, no? First step, to solve na natin ng mga unknown loads yung mga reactions. Now, we are we now proceed to solving the uh, we now proceed to solve the shear diagram. So, paano, to, paano natin gagawin yun? Simulan natin sa part na to which is RA, the reaction A, na may value na 500 pounds. So, tataas tayo dito ng, let's say, 500. Okay? 500 pounds. Now, along this length, along this length, no, meron tayong UDL. So, hindi natin ididiretso yan. Okay? Hindi natin ididiretso yan. Kailangan natin kunin yung area ng, back, ng buong ato na to. Yung part na to. So, ano yung area niyan? That's equal to, uh, makikita nyo, that's 25 pounds per per inch pounds per inch times ano yung length niya that's 72 so magka-cancel yung dalawang inch pounds na lang siya di ba and shear has a unit of pounds kasi force lang siya so 25 times 72 we have value of 1800 pounds okay so from 500 magdadagdag tayo ng 1800 tama mali Magbabawas tayo. Kasi nga, kung makikita nyo, di ba? Yung direction nito is pababa. So, it will go downward. So, this should be negative. Di ba? Okay? So, magbabawas tayo ng negative 1,800 sa 500. So, that would be equal to negative 1,300. So, dito mga bis, no? Dito, bababa siya ng 1,300. Negative 1,300. Yung difference ng dalawang to it is equal to that area. Okay? Yung 1,800. So, paano natin yan i-connect? It will just be a straight line since ang degree nito is 0. Pag pupunta dito, magiging 1 yung degree niya. And a line, that has a degree of 1, is a line. <laughs> Tama. A line, a line that has a degree of 1 is a straight line. Ayun. So, straight line lang yan. I hope, I hope I can be straight. Yan. And kunwari straight na yan, no? Okay, so imagine na lang. Tapos, dito na tayo dito at point B. Point B, merong reaction yan, point load ulit, which is 2,500. It is towards up. Ibig sabihin, it will mag-add tayo dito sa 1,300 ng 2,500. So from 1, 3, negative 1, 3, mag-add tayo ng 2, 5. And that will be 1, 2. So tataas yan dito, sabi, let's say dito, 1,200. Okay. That is due to this reaction force RB, which is a value of 2,500. Now, along this length, meron ulit tayong UDL. Diba? Yung rectangle na to. So, i-cover it natin yung rectangle na to. Kunin natin yung area niya. Ang area niya would be equal to, same. That is a height of 25 pounds per inch times the length, which is 48 inches. Cancel na yung inch-inch. That's 25 times 48. That has a value of 1,200. Okay, so 1,200. So, that will be negative again kasi pababa. Okay, negative. So, from 1,200, magsusubtract tayo ng 1,200. So, it will just cancel out. Ibig sabihin, pagdating sa point na to, that will be equal to zero. And again, anong line? It will just be a straight line because the degree is 1. Okay, 
Ayon. So we are now done with our we call this our shear diagram, di ba? And uh, what is one point to consider? Meron tayo dito ang PZS, no? Or the point of zero shear. We need to find where is this PZS? Anong gano ba siya kalayo to that point or to that point? Kasi kailangan natin yon para mas solve yung area ng triangle na to. Di ba? Kasi hindi natin alam kung ano to. Kasi nga, di ba, triangle is base times height divided by 2. If we just have the height, we don't know the base. So, we need to solve for this length. Okay? So, how will we solve that? We will be just using ratio and proportion. So, take a look at this bigger triangle. Yeah, we have a bigger triangle and a smaller triangle. So, just uh, compare those two and use ratio and proportion. So, I'll just draw here para mas ma-visualize. And it's the big triangle. This is the small triangle. Our big triangle has a height from dito 500 papuntang 13 which is equal to 2,800. Diba? That's 500 plus 13. Diba? Joke lang. 1,800 pala. Kaya magandang nagkakalcute tayo eh. <laughs> 1,800. And ang length nito, makikita natin sa taas, that's 72 inches. So, 72 yan. Dito naman sa smaller triangle, ang height niyan is just 500. And ang length niyan, ito, ito yung hinahanap natin, unknown niyan. So, let's name that X, okay? So, variation proportion, let's say that that's 1.8 over 72 is equal to 500 over X. So, just transpose X to so the other side. 500 times 72 divided by 1,100. And we have the value of X which is equal to tan 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 tan, tan, tan 20 yay <laughs> okay so 20 yung value po nito so from this point to that point that has a value of 20 inches which means this remaining length is 72 minus 20 52 inches okay so na solve na natin yan we can just erase this, no? Hindi na natin yan gagamitin. Okay. Nice. Alright. So, solve na natin yung ating moment diagram. So, makikita niya wala tayong concentrated moments. So, it's good to go. We will just use our shear diagram. So, we will just start at 0. Bakit at 0? Kasi nga, walang concentrated moment dyan. Okay. So, from 0... Kunin na natin yung area niyan. So, let's draw a marker here. Yan. Okay. So, dito mga bis, no? Ano yung area ng triangle na to? Area ng triangle is just base times height divided by 2. So, that's 500 times 20 divided by 2. Cancel. Will yield us. Cancel yung 2, 2. So, that's 5,000. Okay. 5,000. Ano to? Pound inch. Diba? Kasi nga, this is pounds. This, this is inches. Tama. Yes. Tama yan. So, tataas tayo ng 5,000. Diba? So, from 0, tataas tayo ng 5,000. Let's just assume that, that this is 5,000. Okay. So, what will our curve look like? I assume that it is a curve because the degree of this line is 1. So, going next, it will become 2. which should be a curve. So, 1 yon. Diba? 1. Ay, hindi. Tingnan natin. Pag ganun siya, slanting and positive dapat. Slanting na pag ganun and positive. Ibig sabihin, we will use this curve. Okay? Yan. Nagamit natin yung curve na yun. Whoops. Pangit. Yun. So, after na natin nagamit yung curve na yun, next, dito naman tayo sa ating next na uh, area. So, ang area naman ng triangle na to, same likewise, we have a uh, length of base times height divided by 2. Base niya is 52. Ang height niya is negative 1,300 divided by 2. So, grab your calcul. That will be equal to is negative 33,800. Okay, mga bis. So, from 5,000, magbabawas tayo ng negative 33,800 from 5,000. So, negative 33,800 minus 5,000 
would be equal to 28,800. Negative 28,800. So, baba ba siya ultimately here. Yeah. Negative 28,800. So, kung makita niyo mga bis, ang curve niya is paganon. Ay, ang line na to is paganon. So, how will our curve look like? Let's just look at our chart. Paganon siya. And paganon siya dapat. Diba? Negative. Paganon yung line. And it will it is at down. So, negative. Yan. Paganon and negative. So, dapat paganon. Yan. Mamaster nyo rin to mga bis. Okay? Yan. Teka lang. Balik ako doon. Oops, curve yan ah. Dapat curve yan. Yeah. Okay, curve yan mga bis. Then next, nga pala mga bis, no? baka, baka pala may better technique kayo dito. No? Ito kasi yung ginagamit yung technique. Baka may easier way kayo para ma-determine kung ano dapat yung curve. Meron yung increasing, positive, decreasing, negative. Ko na, pero nalilito ako. I prefer doing this, I think. So, kapag may makapagpapadali ng buhay natin, just comment down below and... Thank you very much. You you are a uh, help to us. Okay? So, ayan. Balik na tayo. Next, kunin na naman natin yung area ng triangle na to. So, area is base times height divided by 2. So, ano yung height niya? That's 1,200 times the length of 48 inches divided by 2. Okay? So, ano yung result niya? 1,200 times 48 Divided by 2 is 28,800. Asitive yan kasi nasa taas. So, from dito, mag-add tayo ng 28,800. It will just cancel out. ba? They are just equal eh. So, pagpunta sa part na to, magiging 0 na yan. So, makikita nyo, yung uh, line natin is slanting na pag ganon, And it's in the positive side. So, check our chart. Pag ganon, and positive. So, ibig sabihin, we will use again this kind of curve. So, from dito, gaganon siya. Pew! Ayun. So, yan. Ladies and gentlemen, ito na yung ating uh, moment diagram. Ayan. So, conclusion. Ano yung madidrive natin dito? Our maximum shear is 1,300 pounds. And our maximum moment is negative 28,800 pound inches. So, ayan. Yay! Nakuha na natin. I hope nakatulong po yon and I hope malinaw, no? And here's a better look ng sagot na mas maayos tignan. Yon, maraming salamat sa panunod. Kung may katanong man kayo or kung may gusto kang idagdag so that we can all make our life easier, just comment down below and it is greatly appreciated. Alright, so yeah. Please like, share, and subscribe. Muli, ako po yung gugoy na nagpapalala sa inyo. Magbay, mag-enjoy, mag-laro, 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 mag-la